there, thank you. I know you put out a letter to some of your colleagues announcing that you're canceling the Democratic retreat for next month. Postponing. Pardon me? Postponing. Postponing. Well, <laughs> but still, it, it, it's not a concern, um, you know, for, for the pandemic. But, you know, given that, given that you've got, you know, 60 plus members who, you know, want to vote by proxy, the case count that's increasing here in Congress, how concerned are you about being able to get your work done, especially when we're looking at other industries across this country that are being impacted by shortages right now? Well, um, <clears throat> we're going to continue to get our work done. And that, that is our commitment to the American people. And we've done it all the way through uh, this deadly once in a century pandemic. Uh, the Capitol Hill physician provided us with guidance uh, as it relates to a large gathering at this particular point in time. We received that guidance and have acted upon it. Uh, but we certainly uh, intend to reschedule uh, the in-person Democratic Issues Conference. There's so much for us to discuss as a family uh, and we look forward to uh, that taking place. In terms of continuing to get our work done, I think President Biden has an incredible record uh, to be proud of. 6.4 million jobs created in the last year. Uh, that's more than any first year of a president in American history and more jobs that have been created in any year in the last eight decades. The unemployment rate is now down to 3.9%. At the same time, wages are up. And I believe it's about 84% of the jobs that were lost as a result of the pandemic have been regained. Is there still work to do? Yes. Uh, but I think President Biden, House Democrats, Senate Democrats have already demonstrated our ability to continue to get work done uh, in an incredible way for the people and to deliver for everyday Americans. Pete? Mr. Jeffries, 36 